Commission, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, it is with highest gratitude and honor to address the third committee as Rwandan youth delegates with emphasis on youth participation and poverty reduction. The participation of youth in Africa, mostly at international level, is still limited. The apparent dominance of youth delegates from developed countries in the UN General Assembly is one of the concrete evidence. Only few UN youth delegates from Africa are participating in the third committee of the 66th UN General Assembly where youth issues are discussed. This presents constant challenges to youth development in many parts of Africa. Youth can play an important role in the development of their communities if they are more integrated and involved in decisions impacting their society. Mr. Chairperson, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to draw your attention to the case of Rwanda, a country which is still coping with the legacy of the tragedy of 1994 Tutsi genocide only 17 years ago noting that youth have been highly affected. The government of Rwanda in its capacity has, has promising policies and programs to develop Rwandan youth in different domains and Rwandan youth strongly wish the achievement of them. Few to mention, the youth sector strategy plan has already been developed it has objectives and outcomes for mainstreaming and empowering the youth economically and socially for sustainable development. These objectives also largely built on the aims of Vision 2020, EDPRS, that is Economic Development and Poverty Reduction Strategy, and the Millennium Development Goals. The overlapping long-term objectives of the sector is to empower and instill a, spi a spirit of responsibility among youth so that they are able to actively participate in a sustainable social economic transformation of the country. The medium-term objectives of the sector are to create a conducive policy environment for young women, women and men so that they are able to participate and realize their full potential. Enhancing growth, competitiveness of youth to enable them to contribute to countries' medium-term objectives as outlined the vision 2020 and the realization of MDGs. Recall that the vision 2020 MDGs and EDPRS all point at eradicating extreme poverty and hunger, fostering wealth creation through transformation of the economy from an agrarian to a knowledge-based economy, creation of productive, productive middle class and fostering of entrepreneurship to increase access to information, quality health, services for young men and women and so forth. However, there are still some challenges that hinder the youth sector path toward its vision, that is the promotion of empowered and responsible youth actively participating in sustainable social and economic transformation of Rwanda. Poverty and unemployment remains a major constraint to the development of our youth. High level of youth unemployment contribute to poverty, discontent, alienation, social unrest, conflict, and urban migration, all of which hinder economic growth and strengthen political stability. Notwithstanding the good progress made by Rwanda in terms of health, you still facing health-related challenges, and these continually affect their growth and development. Furthermore, there are still factors limiting the full participation of younger people in the decision-making process. Moreover, the youth sector coordination and planning need improvement. Mr. Chairperson, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we are convinced that 
not only the effort of our nation is adequate to address such youth issues, but international community effort is of great importance. Thus, as official Rwandan youth representative to this General Assembly, we call upon international community to design specific program for youth from least developed countries aimed at building productive capacity throughout providing entrepreneurship opportunities and enhancing necessary youth services to this end. Monitoring entrepreneurship programs, investing in IT, special, investing in IT especially in rural areas, providing access to loans, introducing and popularizing entrepreneurial education. Second, to assist member states from least developed countries to establish national centers for technology and sciences transfer as to enable youth themselves to eradicate poverty. Third, furthermore, to furthermore assist to achieve MDGs in due courses and other programs set by governments such as Vision 2020, EDPRS, and most importantly, the youth sector strategic plan implementation as Rwanda is concerned. Eventually, we are convinced that establishment of new UN agents on youth would be of prominent law in addressing the arming youth issues worldwide. Thank you.